It's a big night of playoff volleyball in Section 5-4A. Tonight, a semifinal matchup between the top seed and defending section and state champion Wyzetta Trojans and the number four seed, the Hopkins Royals. From Wyzetta High School, John Jacobson and Andy Gugisberg. And Andy, always fun when we get to this time of year. You get the semifinals tonight. Maple Grove and Champlin Park to follow after this one. And then the section final next Wednesday at Osseo. Yeah, I'll tell you, it hasn't been nearly it's been too long since we've been here. I feel like this is the spot where we get to watch some great volleyball happen, semifinal night. You know, I was talking with uh, the head coach from Hopkins before the match started. She reminded me, it's postseason. Everybody's zero and zero starting here. We go one and done if you need to. Both these teams won to get here, and now we're getting into the space. Where we're trying to figure out who's going to come out on top of the section, who's going to end up going to state, and then hopefully bringing home the big banner, the state title. These teams met during the late conference season with Wyzetta winning in three, and obviously Andy there, the big favorite, but, you know, Hopkins, they got nothing to lose. They, they, and they have that kind of attitude coming in, right? Let's go out, give it our best shot, see what happens. Yeah, Hopkins got to play a great match to get here. They went five with Spring Lake Park a couple days ago, and everybody had to be on fire there, especially in the fifth set, down by a lot, came back to finish well. And uh, so they are battle tested. Wyzetta had a much easier time getting to tonight's match. We'll see if they're ready to pop on all cylinders because when they are, man, they're fun to watch. Here's a look at our key players starting with Hopkins. They again coming in at eight and 19 on the season. Amaya Jennings though, has played some really good volleyball for the Royals. Yeah, six rotation outside hitter, gonna get a lot of balls out of system and the way Wyzetta serves, there are going to be a lot of out-of-system opportunities. Jennings is going to have to get her feet to the ball, take a chance when she gets it, but keep a lot of balls in play. Could be in for a long night for her. And for Wyzetta, let's look at Katie Kelsenberg. Leads the team in blocks. Yeah, the sophomore middle blocker, uh, definitely playing high-level volleyball right now. Uh, First-year starter, came in. Her eyes are so good. She gets in the way. She redirects shots. She funnels things towards the great backcourt defense that Wyzetta has and uh, look for her to be a defensive presence. And if they can get her the ball on offense, it's going to be a real quick night for the Trojans. The Trojans looking for their 26th win of the season and a spot in next week's Section 5 final. We'll take a break, come back with set one. It's Hopkins Wyzetta Section Volleyball next on CCX. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button, and from there, choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. Number four versus number one, section five, four A semifinal volleyball tonight on CCX. Champlin Park and Maple Grove still to follow. Let's look at the bracket and how we got here tonight. Each of these teams with quarterfinal round wins on Tuesday. Why well, said it with a sweep of number eight seed Park Center. Hopkins had a five seed, five set thriller rather against uh, Spring Lake Park, a team they swept just a week ago and it goes five and then 16, 14 even in the fifth set, but they win to get to tonight. On the other side of the bracket, number three seed, Maple Grove sweeps Osseo and Champlain Park. Number two seed, no problem with Armstrong and Maple Grove and Champlain Park at approximately 7 p.m. tonight here at Wysetta. The high seed each year in this uh, section gets the semifinals. And it was a, a debate going into that uh, seeding meeting, right, for the coaches. Who's going to be the one seed, Champlain Park or Wysetta? Yeah, I think there's a, it was very interesting in both section five and section one, the higher team ranked according to the state coaches got the lower seed in both of those situations. Uh, the head-to-head -head victory that uh, Champlain Park had was the big reason they thought they should have been seated higher. The overall body of work was significantly better from Wyzetta, so they got the number one seat here and get the opportunity to host. As you see, Scott Jackson, 24th year as Head coach, state champions in 2019 and 2021. No tournament in 2020. They certainly could have won it, Andy, that year if there had been the state tournament. They were unbeaten in that pandemic season and that uh, 
2021 team might be as good a team as we've covered through the years, 34 and 0. And on the other side, it's Coral Hange in her second year as head coach at Hopkins. It has a lot of volleyball experience coaching wise and, and playing wise, obviously, before that, uh, but really likes to this team and how they are playing right now and then their attitude coming into tonight so it's been kind of a roller coaster throughout the season but uh they're gonna let it roll tonight right you know we talk a lot about when you need to be playing great volleyball you know and, and here's the deal postseason is when it actually starts to matter they played some great volleyball down the stretch a couple days ago uh <laughs> After sweeping Spring Lake Park, they went five with them. I think they're okay with that history kind of being here again as Wyzetta swept them earlier in the year. See if they can push this to a fourth or a fifth set and see what happens. Uh, to say they're playing with house money, I don't know that that's 100% accurate here, but no betting man is gonna put money on Hopkins to come out on top on this one. So they're gonna play loose and free and look for these kids to just really enjoy the opportunity in front of them. Let's look at our starters for tonight's match. On your left, Hopkins, Kenzie Thomas, Georgia Holzicki, Amaya Jennings, Ashley Sarby, Caitlin O'Connor, Maddie Canoto, and Nisia Griffin. And for Wyzetta, Avery Jesuits, Caitlin Boat, Riley Kurth, Olivia Swenson, Katie Kelsenberg, Stella Swenson, and Sophia Johnson, the libero. Yeah, when you look at what Wyzetta graduated last year, you know, you, you, I remember thinking to myself, you know, they graduated a lot but there hasn't been much of a skip in any of those positions. You know, no disrespect to the kids that left, but the kids that are filling in are doing a great job as well. The middles are doing a fantastic job. I can't get over how great the libero play has been from Wyzetta this season. Uh, excited to see what tonight brings. Three of Wyzetta's four losses have come in tournament play. The one regular season best three out of five match, the one that Andy referenced against Champlain Park. Back on September 28th with the Rebels winning in four. Hopkins to your camera right as you look at it. And White's out on left. Both in white tonight. We are underway here in set one. Stella Swenson, back to Katie Kelsenberg. Dug up. Hopkins scrambles and gets it over on the hit from O'Connor. And then down. And there's our first point of the match. Swenson takes advantage of a block that's waiting for the middle set, goes up and throws down for the first point. She is so good at that, right? She certainly is, and she's got a lot of shots. It's not a one-trick pony. She can put that thing wherever she wants it. Avery Jesuits with the first serve for Wyzetta. Overpass here, hammered down, dug up. Back set, ball gets blocked. Kelsenberg going up along with Olivia Swenson for the block. Yeah, really nice closed block there. Jennings going to see the lion chair, the swings here, and the block knows it. Good reach inside there from Olivia and uh, the 2 0 lead. Jesuits to the back row. Here's the set left side. O'Connor over, handled by Jesuits. Still across to Olivia Swenson, and that is off of Griffin and out. Quick three points for White's out of the start. Rhythm coming here from the Trojans. We'll go at Griffin again. Except from Canoto, and that swing wide and out. Hitting air, 4 0 Trojans. It's a line drive serve handled there by Jennings. Olivia Swenson pounds one. Fast start for the Trojans. Yeah, take another look at this one. This, the, the dump across causes chaos as Jennings was already making her move, uh, but we couldn't get it reciprocated as O'Connor was still on the left side as well. Both serve into the net by Jesuits gives Hopkins its First point in the side out. Jennings will serve. Junior outside, over 200 kills on the season. Leading the team in that category. Good serve, and I'll go as an ace. Off of Sophia Johnson and Wyzetta Libero. Yeah, big heat here. We're taking a look at this ball coming at us. You can see the movement on it. That's a tough serve. 
right in between Johnson and Nestor. Good serve space. Mister handles this one. Set across, Olivia Swenson pushes it over the block. Hopkins able to handle it. It's going back to Olivia Swenson. Off of Jennings, out of two the net, but Hopkins unable to keep it alive. Point Wyzetta. Sarvi spins after she blocks and tries to play that ball out of the net, but just too much heat on it from the pass. 6-2, John uh, Wyzetta serving with Johnson, putting it in play. At the net, Stella Swenson going up and meeting Holsicki at the net. Gets the better of it and wins the point for her team. She also does that better than just about anybody in the state. The overpass, the, the, the chaos ball, she's a really great blocker. Connor's got to get it back to the middle. Jennings attacking. Jesuit's ready and able to handle it. Olivia Swenson gets another kill. From Good start for her, Andy, in this match already. Yeah, she's really fluid right now. Uh, finding her rhythm on the swing here, we see her in rhythm in this transition opportunity, and she beats the seam of the block. Holsicki back set. And they had a Wyzetta player into the net. In this case, it was Riley Kurth. Whistled, point, Wyzetta, point Hopkins if they get the side out. Griffin back to serve for the Royals. Trailing eight to three. Middle curve. Back row off of Jesuits. And a kill for Hopkins. Good cross court swing there to score. Kaitlin O'Connor, Jr. with the kill. Look at it again. Off the libero bump set, she only has that deep corner. That's an adjustment Wyzette will make later in the set. There's Kurth, swings, and dug up by Canoto. Over by Holtiki. Swenson on top of another ball and gets a kill for the 10th point of set one. About half of them have come from Liv Swenson so far. Yeah, Olivia's doing a really nice job, and Stella sees the block mismatch here. Olivia goes over the top of O'Connor there and down. Stella Swenson serve. Set to the middle. Johnson with the dig. Back set, left side attack. Jennings keeps it alive and missing, trying to chip it over. Poliski and falls on their side of the net point for Wyzetta. Scott Jackson imploring his blockers to get their eyes on the right things. Johnson, ball tipped at the net on the overpass by Aliski. And another kill for Olivia Swenson. Attacking from that left side, a timeout for Hopkins. Take a look at the end of this point here. Again, Swenson has a big seam, and uh, I believe it's Griffin tries to fill it, but. Uh, too much heat there, that ball goes wide right. Nice point, early lead, 11-4 for Wyzetta. Everything kind of clicking. Uh, trying to make sure that this team is taking care of business today, but also finding the rhythm they're gonna need for the section final and the state tournament run. Uh, on the other side of the net, you got punched. You know, you, you, you might have just taken a jab, it might have been a combo, but you gotta be able to stagger, balance, and recover. Right now, that's what this timeout is all about. Okay, we've seen what they can do. We just got to make sure we take care of things on our side. I don't know that uh, Coral's going to have a switch block going on here, but I, I don't like the opportunities that uh, O'Connor's going to have to try and block Olivia Swenson. Coming back out, looks like everything is still pretty calm. Eye contact good here from the Royals. Confusing for us, and I'm sure our fans at home have seen this already. Both teams in white with uh, blue shorts and <laughs> numbers. We could get a little confused here. Hopkins going to be on our right all night long. Swenson dug up by Jennings. Tack from the middle, good block by Kurth, but Hopkins able to handle it. Swinging over, Johnson handling the hit from Aliski. And Bolt getting on top of one right side gets the kill. 
the senior right side hitter with her first kill tonight. Yeah, she was active a couple weeks ago when they played Champlin, and we see her getting going early here as well. Still Swenson, a little too aggressive there. Side out, Hopkins. And lead the team in aces, you might have an error or two as right. well. So. Rose Christensen in for Hopkins will serve here. So it swings into the middle, and Kerf buries it. Such good rhythm. When they, when, when they get a good pass, it's everybody's in the air, everybody's in rhythm. We take a look at this, and yeah, we'll see the ball go to the middle, but if you can get a look at it, both of the pin hitters were also coming in on tempo to hit what they wanted to. Overpass, so oh, good block, but out. Good timing on the uh, block by Kenzie Thomas, but couldn't keep it in play. Uh-oh, kind of looking at her wrist there. Hopefully she's okay. Olivia Swenson serving at 14 to five. We'll push across. And get it wise out. I think Kurth again in the net for the Trojans. Kurth, a sophomore, going to have some opportunities to play in front of her here. Wow. Swenson goes back, and then missing long was Bolt. She's the only setter in the state that can get that ball off the net and hittable. Um, I don't think anybody was expecting it. Certainly not vote. Um, great dish. Liskey serving. Swenson will go back to vote again. Cross court finds this spot right in front of Christensen. Good repeat there from Swenson. She goes back to the hitter. He takes the cross court. Jennings had to take away something and just guessed wrong. Well set out to Jennings, didn't get enough on that. Into the net. Side out, or point rather, wide Jetta. And now 16-7 in favor of the Trojans. Sophia Weisberg, another serve. Aubrey putting it over for Hopkins. Ball set across, and Kelsenberg got it over. Jennings ball dug up by Olivia Swenson. Swing by Sophia Jesuits, and that's handled. Avery Jesuits, rather. Now we'll go back in the middle, and there's the kill for Kelsenberg. They worked that worked couple that different ways, really, right? Really, really well. And John, I got to be honest, the fact that that's the first time I've ever heard you sl slip on which Jesuits it was is kind of <laughs> impressive. There's been there's been Jesuits as banging balls from the outside for many years for Wyzetta. And great attack by Jennings. She's got such good vision. Saw the block take away the seam. Decides she's going to go thumb down and put that ball down to the cross court. It's a really good swing. Best swing of the night for Jennings. They've got a lot of work to do, 17-8. I was just going to say, it doesn't feel like 17-8. It feels closer than that. Off the serve from Roy Hamilton. Up, why is that a little collision there? And they're still able to get the ball in play. So smart there. Swenson recognizes she's back row, so we'll see the overpass. That's one. This is two. This ball has to go over and nobody's <laughs> made the move to transition. And, and those are the kinds of points that, that Hopkins has to win, right? right. When yep. Wazetta makes a mistake, yeah. you got to take advantage of it. Bianca Nister back to serve. Oh. That is filthy serve. Little mid-float there as the bottom drops out of it. It's like a knuckleball coming at you. She's no Tim Wakefield, but she does some nice things from back there. Nister second on the uh, team in a serves behind Swenson. Go to Jennings attacking at the net. This will be Wysetta's point. 
going to have. We're going to talk here. about let's, it here. Let's take a look at that last service ace here. You see the ball. She comes in. It contacts so well. The little bit of movement, and then because she slows her arm down at contact, Jennings thinks it's going to be deep, and then gets beat short. We had a little bit of chaos, and we're going to get a touch call here on Wyzetta, so it will be a side out point for Hopkins. Tim Harlow conferring with his R2. Uh, Tim's seen some good matches in his day, has uh, refed Paralympic medal matches. He's, uh, he's, he's well known and well respected around the country and especially here in his home state of Minnesota. That goes off hands and down. Avery Jetsowitz with her first kill tonight. Go back to serve. The team now at 20. Off of Jennings. Griffin will handle it. Back to Jennings. She'll float it across. Back set. Kelsenberg dug up by Griffin. Back set. Jennings off hands. Great dig by Stella Swenson. Back to Olivia Swenson for the point. Good long rally. Motors always running here from Wyzetta. That'll get a timeout from Hopkins. We'll take a look at the end of that again. Great pickup. Libero going to go out of system back into the corner. And that, we call it the butter corner because it's the longest angle, that hypotenuse. You got more room to work than anywhere else. And it's almost never defended. There we see. Uh, Holiski kind of come into the court too far, isn't able to take that ball that's going to land in the deep corner, has to play it outside her body line. 21-9. Uh, Wyzetta, I mean, at no point did I feel like Hopkins was in it, but I didn't think it was as blown out as it is right now. I felt like this was like a four or five point set. Here we are at 21-9. Wyzetta more than doubled up Hopkins, and they're looking to close out set one strong. Uh, on the other side of the net, Coral Hangy's Hopkins Royals team just trying to figure out how to get a pass and get a, if they could get a single block, that would make a lot of difference. But the middles for Wyzetta are in the back pocket of the setter here. They know exactly where she's going and it's a well-formed double block every time somebody takes a swing. Jesuits, second on the team behind Swenson and Kills, serving out of the timeout here, and then a miss hit by O'Connor. We'll give Wyzetta point 22 here in set one. Griffin reserving C. Here, ball in the middle, Kelsenberg back, Griffin getting it. Jennings gets blocked. Swenson went up to meet her at the net and returned it. Swenson fully aware that Jennings is going to be the spark if there's going to be one and doing her best to keep her out of the kill column. Another great block. Off of Griffin. Set to the middle. Good swing, but Johnson able to handle it. And down the line this time. A little push. For the kill for Liv Swenson. Liv gives up her hand early, knowing she's going to tip, draws the setter up, but so strong she pushes that ball deep, and Griffin can't get to the sideline. Set point. Right in front of Griffin, who got to it. Holiski keeps it in play over by Jennings. Played back up, rather, by Canodal, number 11. Here's Swenson back to Kelsenberg. No too long. Oh, we have a net violation. That'll end the set. Net violation on the Royals gives Why is that a point 25 and they win it 25 to 9. Yeah, big quick come out here for Wyzetta as they get into it and get after it. Uh, started fast with a five point run, never looked back, never let Hopkins even get on a run of their own. We'll see how they can uh, come off the break and see if Hopkins has an answer. We'll take a break and come back with our second set. Section 5 for a semifinal volleyball on CCX. Um, can I get the now bar, please? One dollar. Have a good one. Got it. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Let me get a now bar. Sure. One dollar. Appreciate you. Got it. Thank you. 
the Swenson family on hand here including former Hopkins coach Vicki Swenson and we saw there and part of the Wyzetta contingent here seeing their team win 25 9 in set one. Yeah there's a sprinkling in of uh, some Maple Grove fans over there as well I noticed Liesel and Marta Haugen sitting in front of Vicki the Swensons and the Haugens go way 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 back. Uh, Seeing some great ways out of volleyball. See if Hopkins can uh, recover here and make a make a game of it here in set two. Bianca Nister starts set two with an ace. Drops between Griffin and Jennings. Both trusted the other to make the play there. Lack of communication leads to the early lead. Back set, right side, and a point, tying it up. Haliski with the kill. Good set. Good old getting the ball to Haliski, and we're 1-1. Yeah, nice, nice choice here as Haliski goes off the edge of Jesuits' right or left hand. Stella Swenson will put it up. Jesuits tipping it. Hopkins is able to react. I'll go back to Jesuits. Cross court and finds the spot. Avery Jesuits, the 6'3 junior, puts Wyzetta on top two to one here in set two. She'll go back to serve. Two on. Tied to two with Nasia Griffin serving. Set up to Stella Swenson, blocked but out. Jennings going up along with Lillian Jacobson, but couldn't keep it in play. 3 2. Wyzetta. Sophia Johnson. Senior Libero. Well, tipped over by Jacobson in the middle. Back set here. Crossed by Kurth. Right side, swing over by O'Connor. Jennings and can't get it over the tape. Looking for the super cut there was Jennings. It was open as Swenson got pulled under the block expecting a tip. Johnson, good serve. Handled by Jennings. Canola all over by Jacobson. Olivia Swenson gets another kill. A good match so far for her tonight. Uh, Swenson firing on all cylinders. Olivia doing a great job hitting hard when she needs to, going off speed when she needs to, even throwing in a few well timed and placed tips. Off the ceiling and down. It's in play, but sometimes a tough play off the ceiling, and Royals unable to do anything with that ball. Yeah, Six if you're, two. If you're not if you're not looking for it and ready for it, right. that ceiling sneaks up on you every time. We've done enough games here to know that. Ace for Johnson. Leads the team in digs. Came in tied for second on the team. And ace serves with Nister. Adds another to her total there. Good player, Andy. Very good. Very good. Does everything well that you need a libero to do. Connor swing into the net. And why is it all of a sudden on a 6 0 run? 8 2. Yeah. And Connor able to get this ball across. And a set up this time to Stella Swenson. It'll put it over Jacobson and Jennings for the point. The old setter trick there. When she takes the first one, they love getting her the ball back. And she's because she sees the game so well, her vision allows her to know exactly where that ball can hit the floor. 
Johnson, Jennings able to pick that ball up. Griffin back to Jennings. Her shot gets blocked at the net. Back at the net, and then Perth misfiring. Maybe a little too anxious there. Couldn't get it down. Point for Hopkins. Leanna Heyman will go back to serve for the first time tonight. Swenson back to Kurth, gets blocked. Outside, Olivia Swenson off hands. Hopkins able to pick it up. Punched across by Jennings. Over by Stella Swenson. I don't know when that little dump play is going to work. He opened the match with it, gets another point with it here. A great adjustment by Hopkins here in set two, putting Jennings on Swenson, Olivia Swenson that is, uh, meaning that easy score wasn't open, but Stella sees the big hole in the middle of the court and drops one down for another point. Too strong on the attack from Jennings. Point Wyzetta. Well, into the net, and Stella Swenson serve. Side out to 11 4. Olivia Swenson from the middle attacking. A little hide and seek there as Swenson comes inside in front of the middle there. Little X play almost, and she uses the block out of bounds. Off the hands of Calabria and down for a point, 12 4. Olivia Swenson. Heyman has come in to set now for Hopkins. Whistle and double contact called on Wyzetta. Didn't quite get her feet set there. No argument from Stella. She knows that wasn't her best ball. Look for a dime here. I have a feeling this could be a, a highlight reel type set here if needed. Hamilton to serve. Swenson, the Jesuits. Knocks Heyman down and gets the point. Put it up there where only Jesuits could go get it over the top of the block and down for the easy kill. Thirteen five, Weisberg serving. Back row handled by Jennings. Quick set in the middle and across from Hamilton. Floated over by Boat. Jennings getting to that ball. They'll touch on it. Nicely played by Holisky. There's Jesuits again. Dug up by Griffin. A little dump over by Heyman. Great layout by Stella Swenson. Boat attacking again. Griffin handles that. Night. Jennings down for a point. That was a terrific rally and ends with an Amaya Jennings kill. If you're going to come back, you've got to take care of these long rallies and finish them with a point, and they do just that. That ball is a great spot just inside the end line. 13 6. Chinotel back into serve. Senior Shuttered, one of the captains. Vote gets blocked. Trojans keep it alive and punched over by Stella Swenson. Canoto back. Heyman. Now moving over as a hitter and able to attack and get the kill. 13-7. Tell us when it's over. Well, I wasn't sure who was going to play it there. A little miscommunication on the left side, Andy, and it leads to four hits and a point for Hopkins. Yeah, Kelsenberg immediately said, I was in the air too early on that. Knows that that's the ball she's supposed to hit, but she just got excited for it. And that one floats over for an ace. Canolo getting the point for Hopkins. There with a 13 9. Catching tape. Those are the bounces they weren't getting in set one. They're getting them here in set two. 
Now Swenson to Olivia Swenson. Canola able to dig that ball up and then error there on the ball played by Griffin, making it 14 9. Nister serves. Here's Johnson setting up Stella Swenson. Got a lot on that. Swenson, two swing, two actual swings and two kills. Definitely part of the game plan. Really nice. Again, she goes cross court. Now a little too strong, good swing, but too long on the attack from Holiski. Yeah, Holiski not quite finding court right now. She's a little bit ahead of herself, needs to stay relaxed, and let the game come to her a little bit more. Mr. at Griffin. Canoto across for Heyman, gets blocked at the net. Over by Holiski. Stella Swenson back, Kelsenberg attacks. Jennings keeps it alive, Heyman. Outside the antenna. <laughs> Just got the glare from her mother. Off the edge, great hustle here from Jennings. Plays it, Oof. goes head first, but pushes the shoulder in so her neck doesn't do anything too funky. She's back in and ready to go. This one long on the attack from Holiski. Well, you love the effort from Jennings, though, yeah. right? It's yep. crashing, going after that ball. Five straight here for Wyzetta, make it six. And not long ago, we were talking about how close right. this one was, and just like Wyzetta does, they go on a 6-0 run, and it's a timeout here from Hopkins. Great hustle on both sides of the ball, but those balls that were kind of trickling over and falling for Hopkins have simply stopped doing that. Great effort. I love the fact that they're playing hard and playing fast. Hopkins going to need more than effort here. They're going to need some quick points uh, as Wyzetta finding the, the runway they look for in sets as they're on a 6-0 run looking to close out set two. Um, just straight relaxation from the Hopkins bench, though. I like that. They're just they're in a chill space. They're pretty relaxed. I think they're going to come out of this timeout fine and calm and ready to pass the ball. Sometimes you get too jacked up, you get too energized by little things, and you try to fake it till you make it. Hopkins doesn't have that vibe to me. They look like the type of team that's just going to trust each other coming out of this timeout. If they're in system in any way, shape, or form, I would love to see Jennings out of the back row here, maybe in the middle to the middle left part of the court, uh, depending on what the pass does. Uh, Heyman, we, we said her name a couple times when she got to the front row. We haven't said much from her since then. I think the block is sitting on her. That's a toolable block, though. She can hit up into it and find the edge. We'll be just fine. Mister back to serve again. Been part of this run, and then gets cold in the timeout and serves it out. That's that quick point we were talking about. <laughs> Hopkins gets one there. They're going to need a run here from Poliski. Serve from Haliski, handled by Olivia Swenson. Ball in the middle, attacked by Kurth. Great layout by Haliski, but can't keep it in play. Olivia Swenson passing a dime there, one on one, and Kelsenberg puts it away. Really nice play there from the Trojans. Jesuit serves into the net. 20 to 11. That's the thing with that mid float. If it hits, it hits. But if it misses a little bit and it drops a little early, you're going to put a lot of balls in the net. Lillian Jacobson, number six, back in for Hopkins with Griffin back to serve. Well dumped over by Stella Swenson. That time Hopkins knew it, and it still didn't matter. She's just so physical, gets up so well and over it. Johnson will 
Put this ball at play. Whiskey, Canodal, and then over. And a kill from the middle for Jacobson. Gives Hopkins a side out, and their 12th point of set two. Yeah, unconventional point there, but they'll take him any way they can get him right now. Jacobson kind of off balance pushes that to five. Naaman serve goes off Jesuits. Kind of collided there, well, not quite, with Johnson, but each thought the other. Yeah, yeah. and felt Johnson the presence. Johnson thought she was going to take it. Yep, right. yep, yep. Time Johnson does handle the serve. Push over here. Jennings on a good layout. Heyman across. Dug up by Mister. Ball set across. That'll be a that's a great dig by Holisky to keep that ball away. Jesuits goes to the floor to get one. Heyman across. Back to to Olivia Swenson and over Heyman for the kill. Really nice rally there, and every time Hopkins sent some chaos over, Wyzetta just took a breath with the ball. We'll see the end of the play here, the one on, almost a one on one as Jacobson comes chasing in late. Really nice swing from Olivia Swenson. Stella Swenson serving at 22 13. Heyman back to Jennings. <laughs> Great swing and attack, point Hopkins. To Swenson for the kill. Wow. Everything about that play was pretty. Johnson taking a ball outside her core. The high two set there, and Swenson gets a no block almost. Olivia Swenson serving now. Heyman, in the middle, Jennings will float it across. Now Swenson. Over by Ava Hendel gets her first kill tonight. Senior middle. And now it's set point. Griffin up to the front hole. Crossed by Holisky. Set it back. And there we go. A kill for Caitlin Boat in set two, 25-14. Why is that a? Yeah, Vote to finish a set that looked good there in the middle for Hopkins and then a 6-0 run, and there was really no response after that from Hopkins. Why is that a running away here, 25-14, and they lead the semifinal two sets to none. We'll take another timeout, come back, set three on the way. This is how Why is that a closed out set two. And one went away from a spot in the final. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button, and from there, choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. Moisetta well, Trojans looking to close this out in the third set. Up 2-0 now on Hopkins. Maple Grove will follow tonight. They're going to be taking on Champlain Park in the second semifinal. John Yonker on your left talking with uh, tournament manager Bill Kwan of Osseo on the right. Coach Yonkers Rebels team will be taking on Maple Grove in that second semifinal. Jay Wilcox and Andy Guggersberg on the call for that one tonight. Later on CCX. Yeah, you make the drive up here from Prior Lake, you might as well get a double right, header. Then, absolutely. I think they're checking out the Wordle on John's phone there. That's still a thing. I don't know. It, it is for me. Every time in the middle of the night when I wake up and I can't <laughs> sleep, I give you my wordle of the day. <laughs> Here we oh. go. Underway in set three. Helsenberg a little too wide on her. A little tip at the net on the set that was outside. And Hopkins gets first point of set three. 
tight set. Kelsimer tries to go get it. Canola serving off Johnson. Stella Swenson and Kelsenberg got on top of this one. Good set and able to put it away. Avery Jesuits has to run that one down herself. Where's the ball retriever in that in Andy? She's in the corner. Oh, yeah. Ball floated over here, but too long. 2 1, Wyzetta. That's how you tire her out. Keep hitting out of bounds over there. Oh, Swenson saves the day. Eric, that is, because we haven't talked about enough Swensons yet today. Up 2 1, Jesuits ties it at 2 with her serve going along. Georgia Holiski putting it in play. At the net, over, down the line for a point. Nope. With a long, excuse me, excuse me, wide, not long. Nope. Point for Hopkins, and they're up 3 2. It's one of the confusing things with two line judges. Line judge to our right had it in on the end line. Line judge in the corner had it out on the sideline. Maybe Swenson, that one's in. On both lines. Right. You bet. You bet. <laughs> Sophia Johnson serving at 3-3. Back set Heyman across. Jesuit digs it up back row. Stella Swenson to Olivia Swenson. Chip by Jennings. Nice play at the net. Great layout on the ball by Nister. And then Liskey gets to one. That one's knocked over by Heyman. Now you're scrambling all over. Jennings gets the block on Kurth. Why is that a keep to the live over by Johnson? Jennings pushing it down in front of Jesuits. Great point for the Royals. A lot of Jennings on that point. Well deserved for the Royals. 4 3. Hopkins in front. Out of the Griffin serve into the net. They're at tied at four. Next set, Heyman across. Stella Swenson. Handled by Johnson. Over by Vogt. Here's Jennings. Great dig by Sophia Johnson. Stella Swenson back to Olivia Swenson. Jennings runs that ball down. Heyman will push it over. Good dig up by Vogue. But back to Olivia Swenson, pushing it to the back row. Tack from the middle, and Holisky uh, miss hit into the net. Good rhythm opportunity there for Hopkins. Holisky just not getting to the ball on time. Canodal setting up Jennings. Hey, Jennings getting in rhythm a little bit here in set three. Another attack and kill for her. It's 5-5. Five, five. Came in to serve to put Hopkins back in front. Back set. Swenson getting blocked, but blocked ball going out. Off of Calabria. Olivia Swenson kind of has the Midas touch today. Everything she touches scoring. It's really fun to watch her in this space. Georgians back up by one with Olivia Swenson serving. Calabria bump it over. Johnson. Stella Swenson attack from Kurth. Hopkins handles that to go to both and flips it over. Calabria down for a point. Two point Trojans lead. Down the line, handled by Johnson. 
from the middle. Oh, too strong, Olivia Swenson. Seven to six with Jennings serving. And another hitting error. Vote missing. For what I said, Andy, you're, you're going to win, right? Probably mm -hmm. win tonight. But you got to clean things up like that. You can't give teams other points. You may get away with it tonight. You won't Wednesday, probably. Correct. Correct. You know, and, and every coach has had this situation where it's a match that you feel comfortable in. But all you're doing right now when you're making errors, when you're not quite clean, is you're giving Champlain Park and Maple Grove some ideas as to where there might be some holes and some spaces to attack whichever one of them wins their semifinal in the final on Wednesday. Heyman, Stella Swenson is ready for that ball. Here's Vogt attacking, good layout by Griffin, but it's still sprawled on the floor. Heyman couldn't get to that next one. Point Wysetta, Weisberg serving. Trojans lead the Royals 9-7. Float serve. Jennings had to run to the floor to get to that ball. Holiski. Stella Swenson over on the attack from Kurth. Jennings over toward her bench. And then went into the curtain and right above the net off the ball hit by Calabria. And that is out of play and gives Wyzetta a point. Play at the net. Ball in the plane. They're going to call a back row block there on Heyman. Eleven seven. From the middle, Jennings. Maybe Swenson. Stella Swenson. Kelsenberg attacks and gets the kill. A sophomore middle. With a big hit. Timeout Hopkins. Yeah, when that's that's kind of one of those things. Jennings takes one of her better swings. It's dug and they're able to run middle in transition. That means it's time to call a timeout if you're Hopkins there. Uh, kind of give them, get them back in rhythm, get them to understand that we're one side out away. You know, we're going to get our opportunities to swing too if we take advantage of them. They haven't been as much as they should. Uh, I, I, I can't speak highly enough on how well Olivia Swenson is playing right now. Uh, she's, her backcourt is significantly improved. You see her getting a well-earned rest right now. Um, she is she is the difference maker right now for this Wyzetta Trojans team. Uh, looking for her to finish well along with the rest of this team. On the other side, Jennings flashes a brilliance, but not enough to go with it. And we haven't heard enough good things from Poliski tonight in order for them to be competitive. She was a big difference maker in talking with a uh, co-worker at CCX and co-worker at Northern Lights, Joy Johnson, who's the head coach at uh, Spring Lake Park. She mentioned that Georgia had a really nice match against them on Tuesday, and we haven't seen as much greatness from her tonight. Weisberg serve out of the timeout, the 12 7 Weisetta lead. Jennings right into the net. And a six point Trojans lead. The ball didn't quite have enough air under it for her to reach high and finish through it. Heyman to Olmiski, bumps it over. Tipping it over, Kelsenberg and Vote. Stella Swenson frustrated with herself as soon as that ball got past her. She knew it was hers and she should have had it. Hamilton back in. She'll serve here. Her team trailing 13 8. Stella Swenson will put it in the middle for Olivia Swenson. Ball handling error on Hopkins.
Mister the junior putting it in play. Holiski handled that ball. But back to her from Heyman. And off of the hand of Olivia Swenson and down. Kill for Holiski to make it 14 9. Maddie Canodal to serve. On a great serve, caught a little bit of tape, dropped down. She gets the ace. There's the home court bounce that Hopkins has been looking for again. We'll see if this will lead to a couple points more. Clip and tough ball. Averaging about two aces per match, Canodal is. Great layout by Griffin on the Jesuits attack. Here's Jennings. Phyllis Swenson back and it was blocked on Kelsenberg. Bumped over by Olivia Swenson. Back set. Heyman gets blocked by Kelsenberg. Over by Holiski. Hitting air Wyzetta. Our player in the net. Yeah, yep. Kelsenberg goes up to block, and as she comes down, she does a pretty good job pulling it out, but because she's facing the net, her follow-through leads her into the net. If she turns sideways, she can pull that ball out. Royals within three briefly, and then the serve out. Now 15-11. Four point Trojans lead here in set three, looking to close out Hopkins. Heyman gets blocked. Stella Swenson makes it 16 11 Trojans. That's just a wall. All three of those blockers, great eyes, good feet, good vision. It's a tough spot Hopkins is in right now, trying to get it past that wall. Follow the middle, great rundown on that play by Jennings. And Holiski oh. getting up and gets the block. First time Swenson has been met at the net, and it is a stuff block point for Hopkins. See if they can turn it into a couple more. Too strong. For the last two times we've gotten kind of big points, then the next serve is out. That's 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 adrenaline from stuff blocking. The Gatorade Player of the Year is a sophomore who's looking like she might be in line for it again here her junior year. Johnson, great serve. Griffin got to it though. Heyman gets blocked. Griff will get credit for that block. 22. Johnson to Griffin. Jennings off the uh, set from Pinotal, but missed wide. 19 12. The ball's off the net more than I think Jennings wants, but it's actually in a good spot for where she should be with that block in front of her. Giving her some range, giving her some opportunity to work around some stuff. She's just not finding court in those sets. So we'll go to Jennings again. Oh, what a block. Stella Swenson timed that perfectly. Trojans looking to get to Palindrome again here. Great stuff block, good eyes, great finish from Stella Swenson. And set two at one point, it was 21 to 12. They're looking for another one here. Overpass, a little and easy is. tip for Kurth. Hopkins trying to figure out what they can do here to extend a little bit. These seniors have put together a nice little season. All goes to Jennings. It's tipped over. Stella Swenson will go to the middle. Jesuits attacking. Canodo, the middle. Holiski. Dig by Jesuits. Back it goes to Kurth off hands. Well set to Jennings. Dug up by Holiski. Canodal quick set this time to Holiski off Johnson's hand. Outside Olivia Swenson gets blocked. And go back to Olivia Swenson again and down. Long rally point lights out. Looking to finish well here. 
Johnson going to dial up another one. Back row handled by Jennings. Back set over by Heyman. Heyman, the senior, not wanting her high school career to end, goes through the block and down. Twenty-two thirteen with Griffin serving for the Royals. And too strong. Just a little bit. Jesuits and Johnson looked at each other and like, we're gonna let this one go. <laughs> Plays out of two points away. Stella Swenson, see if she can put her team in. We'll get Kenzie Thomas, the senior, back in. Pepperlin, another senior, getting her first time. And for Wyzetta, Gabby Fish coming in for the first time tonight. Stella Swenson, serve into the net, making it 23 14. Bria back in, a little discussion about who's rotating in and out. Pepperlin in briefly, and now Heyman's got to come back in for her. Olivia Swenson attacks. Heyman will set it. Good pass. Sam block. Well, Olivia Swenson will go back to her again, and this time getting it past Griffin. And now it's match point. Twenty-four fourteen. Liski across. Stella Swenson. Left side Jesuits. Dug up by Kurth. Stella Swenson again. Double contact. And we'll play on at least one more point here. 24 15. Now Jennings gets to serve. Yes. <laughs> Stella Swenson over, Jesuits dug up by Griffin. Heyman will track that one down. Holiski tips it over for a point. Again, another one of those things where Wyzetta wants to just play as little volleyball as possible here. Get done and get out. Jenny serve. Stella uh -oh. Swenson back down. I think Fish was in the net though. I would have ended it, but Fish follows through into the net. Point for Hopkins, 24-17. I'm not going to lie, I like that swing. Even if she's in the net, I really like that swing. Stella Swenson got to run that one down. Attack from Jesuits. Heyman back set. Ball pushed across. Stella Swenson, the Jesuits, and that ends it. Avery Jesuits ends set three and ends the match. 25-17, Wyzetta, and they're on to the section final. Yeah, nice strong finish there from the Trojans. 25-17 in set three. Uh, the score was closer than the set was. In set one, I felt it was the other way around. Uh, but in set three, Wyzetta never looked even a little bit uncomfortable there. Trojans on to the section semifinal, playing the winner of our next match. Uh, on Wednesday at 5 o'clock. And you can see it live on CCX Wednesday at 5. Uh, it'll be a fun one, Andy. You and I will get to call that section championship at uh, Champlain Park. Hoping to get back there. Maple Grove looking for the upset in the second semifinal here. It'll be a good one. I'll take some good notes for us in this next one, John. We'll be ready to go for Wednesday.
Well, they'll do it for our telecast tonight. Hopkins' season ends with 11 and 19 record. Whitehead are now 26 and 4, and they're on to the Section 5 championship. For Andy Gugusberg and all of our crew, I'm John Jacobson. Thanks so much for watching. It's Wyzetta, preset sweep of Hopkins.